Ah, Dex. I was muted. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> Scuff Bingo. Hi, Hoshiro, Tenchi, Sirak, Plangus, Chuna, Beaver. Folly. Bay. Onyx shampoo. <laughs> Hype song. Kumi? Kumi. Kumi. Hota. Onyx? Onyx. Because <laughs> I already read everyone's name already once. I can't remember. Now I can't. <laughs> I can't keep track. Meeks. Jordan. Jolson on Wild Kenneth. Jolson, Jolson. Fun Sandim. Fun the home hole. Everyone get good sleep. Tenchi. I see your name. <laughs> Justin. Random guy man. Random guy man. Nice. My voice has arrived. Because because I arrived to the stream at the at the speed of light. So my voice is lagging behind a bit. You see? <laughs> Hello Kili. Ah, oh yeah, I need to probably move the correction images to this file. Had a long stream delay, huh? Ohayou gozaimasu, Kazura... Kazura... Utamaru-san. Uta umai desu ka? Jitsu wa uta... Uta um... Ga umai desu ka? Fei, hello. I was saying I am waiting for some water to boil. So have some warm water for myself so I don't become raisin. While teaching you guys. So cell shading. What is what is cell shading? From my understanding. The tabby definition is shading using layers and layer effects such as multiply and screen. Those are the two main ones I usually use. And it's very commonly used in anime. Probably 80% of anime art you see on Twitter is done with cell shading because it's very fast, efficient, and there's a... There's a workflow, like the same workflow you can follow for every image. So you can kind of, you don't have to think too hard. And it works as a great base for other styles, such as painterly style. Umaku nai yo. Honto desu ka? Okay, I'm gonna grab my water and then rehydrate. Be right back. somebody asked me somebody told me they were following some is your friend kumi who was it <laughs> who requested this cell shading is the main og original father of styles do you think so i guess back in the day when the drawing program technology wasn't as advanced 
Cell shading was a more common style. Because you don't need blending, etc. And you can make a very finished looking image. Just with sharp corners. Um, sharp, sharp edges. No blurring. So, um, I've just filled in the silhouette. As you can see down here, I've already done it once. Go through each. Here are the flat colors. And then general light. General shadow. And then sharp shadows. And this I would call core shadow layer. And then sharp light. And then some highlights. I'll show you guys how to do all that. First, block out the silhouette with one flat color. So for example, fill the whole character in with one color. And then I like to use the flesh tone as a base and you make an alt layer by creating a new layer on top of the single flat layer and then hold down alt hover your mouse in between the two layers and then click you you see the your cursor will change is effectively clipping mask but I, I think there's a clipping mask is done in a slightly different way but I never use it <laughs> so I couldn't tell you let's just let's do a flat color in the head and this alt layer means when you color it, you, it will not go outside of the shape you have clipped it's all going to stay when, within this shape this is I'm sure most of you know how to do this but this is a step by step so I feel like once you memorize each step, you can pre pretty much anyone can call it. Doing the headdress, you can arrange the layers. dress and then oh yes this is this is my oh Jason Jason Ashu come here damn the hantai oh hi oh gozaimasu noriko roru namae wa nihongo desu ke do nihonjin desu ka nihonjin desu ka Does it does it help when hype sun pings everyone? Because I'm very botchy. <laughs> I was like, I don't wanna ping people unless I really have to. <laughs> back to, back to lurk while I draw. Happy lurking. Faye, it was Faye. 
here here is your your request answered and then the maid of Fuku usually I would do a very very dark black for that but I wanted to I want the shading to show better so let's do a dark gray Potato dog's probably at school again. I should write out the steps too for you guys. And when you're doing flat colors, you're not thinking about lighting at all. You're just laying down the local color of the object you're coloring so for example the maid dress is a dark gray but in the light it it can look like a very light gray if it's if the sun is shining on top of it But for this stage, you have to ignore that. Just put down what the color is supposed to be without being affected by any of the... any external lighting situation. Oh yes, I, I am... This is the, the tabby of your dreams. <laughs> Made tabby is only real in your dreams. I've been actually wanting to draw a maid outfit for a long time. It would be nice to paint a maid outfit too because they have so many pleating details. It would be very fun and it would make for a very good clothing drawing exercise. of the eyes don't forget do not neglect that and the little the little nose You can add blush at this stage too. Completely fine. For blush, I like to pick the skin color and go a little darker, more saturated, and then turn it towards pink. Or more towards the true red rather than a warm red. Just do this and then blend it. Or you can use an airbrush too.
んじゃーん。Hello, Kyle. マジかわいい。ありがとうございます。I'm watching during the break, still attending lessons. Damn it! We will never meet. <laughs> the ping did tell me there was a stream. Okay, maybe. Maybe it's okay to ping everyone. Nihon Jin des, kyo, hajimete kono hai shin wo mini kimashita. とっても可愛いイラストです。ありがとうございます。ドリッコロールさん。とっても優しいな人です。よね、みんな Very, very i r a s h a i s Watashi wa Mogura desu. Desu yo. Doste kusa. Katsura o tamaru san. What's, what's a good thing to What's a good thing to say for、um, Japanese people who come in? What's a good aisatsu? So now I'm done with all the flat colors. I like to combine all of them just to save some room in this window. And now let's go. Hold on. Get into the meat of it, everybody. First step Flat Pass Bell Local Color. Make a screen alt layer. I'm gonna hide all the other layers so you guys can keep track. And I will name my layers.、Um, so, what? And then, flat. Also, I will figure out a way to send you guys the. PSD afterwards for F. Flat, flat color. I'll just call it flat. Flats. With this screen layer, we will determine the general direction of the light source. And usually I'll pick. A yellowish color. This works for most lighting situations. Usually, light tends to be warm, but you can, when you get more used to it and more advanced, you can definitely play with cool light. But let's start with basics and what is most generally used. And set opacity to. About 30 something. Did you guys see that? So the light is coming in this direction.
Next is General Shadow. And we will use Multiply. General Shadow. Guys, I learned this in art school. So this is free. Free education you guys are getting. We all know how expensive art school is. So it's a bargain. For free. Shadow. Because the light's coming in this direction, the shadow's gonna be back here. You guys, this this was this was probably this information is worth at least a quarter of my tuition. <laughs> okay, I'll I'm gonna with this trick. I felt like. I felt like I had learned 70 or like 60% of what I needed to learn <laughs> for digital art. Obviously, I'm just joshing around. Stay in school, guys. <laughs> and just showing you guys the lights coming from here. shadow and then make another multiply layer I like to do shadows first for the sharp shadows Hello Jin. Hello Cosmic. Have you been to Meido Kisa? I have been. Yes. Kita koto arimasu yo. Meido Kisa ten no tabemono wa. Totemo mazui desu. Minna very very yasashi yo. Yes, yes. Hi, Omni. Omni Nature Small. Welcome in. Should I call you Omni? Okay. Same thing. Multiply at around 30 something percent. And then I'll pick a blue. Actually. I will swatch all these colors I'm using. You guys can color pick later. And let's start with the face. For the face, I like to use red actually because I find when I use blue on the face, the character looks kind of anemic or zombie like. So I just go like this, shade her face. And pretty sure I can use the same color for hair too. But I would probably maybe do something closer to the hair color. So I went to brown because my hair is brown. 
a little more natural. And then for hair, I'll do this. Just a strip of shadow across the forehead. So for the body, for clothing, I will switch to a dark blue. Hopefully you guys can see. Since the apron is obstructing the light, this is going to be dark here. And right here. I would make this a little bit jagged, not just a straight line because there's going to be some wrinkles on the sleeve and then because her arm is here is probably casting a shadow on the apron like this put that in back here light would be obstructed by the apron Right here. And then everything back here should be in shadow. And just go ahead and do that. And probably here too. This is probably blocking the light. And the pleats down here. So this side is facing the light, but this is underside. All of this, and this is a gap, gap, gap between her, um, my my boing and the apron. There's a little gap. All of that in. And then some pleats too. Why why does Mig Migo need a hammer? It seems Tabby had a not good food experience at the maid cafe. Yes, that's correct. Let us see. Made all kisa de de chin chin sta lenji lenji microwave de chin sta tamago wo tabemashita tottemo mazugatta desu <laughs> When I went to Maid Cafe in Japan, I they served microwaved omelet. <laughs> microwaved omelet rice. Well, this headpiece is ruffles, so the ruffle does the loop thing. It's gonna be in shadow. We can we can talk about ruffles when we do closing. Does does anyone have questions? Multiply. Multiply layer. You know layer modes. 
if you t if you Google Photoshop multiply layer, you will find how to do it. It's in this an option in this layer panel, layers panel down here, right here, this drop down menu. There are different modes. As you can see, different modes give you different effects. And multiply is one that um, makes the color darker and more saturated, I believe. Okay, so we have the hot shadows and I feel like this is gonna go so fast because it's a very, very easy step-by-step -step thing to do. Next, sharp lights. Light. For light, I will do... Bright yellow usually. And again for hair. Usually they do a halo. Like this. I feel like I can make this brighter for you guys. And then because the light's coming from here, I'm gonna do a rim light right here. Rim light means when the the lighting is following the contour of the character or the shape, contour of the shape. So here's a moldy lemon. We have light. And we have shadow. Rim light is like like this. Some light should be hitting here. You can't really see it on, doing much on already very light, this very light area. And obviously on the sleeve, like this. already see the 3D shapes coming in. So we pretty much have the basics down. I forgot people can do art on Photoshop. <laughs> I guess it is Photoshop so most people edit photos. Education. You've got to bonk the Wi Fi. Artists don't want you to know this trick. Yes, artists will hate you. <laughs> artists hate me for telling, for showing this trick. This anime made cafe. Yes, it does. 
flexing her Japanese that that's not flexing. That's the floppiest flexing. You know when when pop high or something, they flex. But then the arm just falls through. <laughs> wow, for an artist, I have pretty bad spatial awareness. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, it's like Hajime no Ippo. Are you, are you, are you kidding me? YouTube, an ad right now? I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess we're switching BGMs. Why not? Me when I flex. <laughs> Me when I'm flexing Japanese. I know in Japanese they have different a different way of writing kanji versus chinese so that's that's gonna be a struggle for me at some point now that we have the basics let's make it fancy let's do bounce light guys bounce light is Light coming from the general um like ambient lighting. <laughs> it would be like bounce light within the shadows. Let's do this kind of light. You can probably just use the... The light shadow. I mean the light layer. Hold on, I realized I colored this wrong. <laughs> Be like this. Okay, okay. Let's do a cyan-ish bounce light. Make it more saturated. We can do another example. So just imagine the main light source, the light shining onto here, and then there's other objects in the background, and it bounce it's bouncing light back onto our character. We get it down here, bouncing light back onto the character. So you get a weaker light source from this direction too because it's bouncing, but keep in mind it has to be a weaker light source than the main light source 
Maid Cafe Good Times. Maid Cafe. Maid Cafes are quite intense. Hello, Virgil. Virgil. But the moi moi kyuns. Microwave. Nihon no meido cafe de. So desu yo. Hello, Kami. Yes, I am made today. And juvenile. <laughs> Animado. Animado. Yes, I have been to Animado. They have um, locations in Taiwan too. Hello, Hilly. I'd like to see how you make the difference between cell to painterly. Yeah, maybe next episode I can show you guys. Going all against all artists to help us. I try. <laughs> Hashtag spawn. <laughs> Do you consciously switch shadow colors between different ambient settings? Um, that depends if I'm drawing the background or not. If there's no background ha happening, I tend to stick to the same ambient bounce light, which is a cyan color. I feel like it always looks good. But imagine if your character was standing on a green lush field. Then the bounce light is gonna be green because the sun is bouncing off of the grass and then hitting your character. So yes, it depends. Sorry for ad. Joe-san, <laughs> hello, Derek. What's I doing? Cyan, cyan, bounce light. Yeah, here, see here, bounce light. And even on the head, you can add a touch of bounce light on the back of the head. It'll make the character look more interesting. When I always when I try to teach you guys stuff, I'm worried you guys can't see the difference. Because the the contrast is not that high. Another advanced thing you can do would be core shadows. So just remember whenever you're doing shadow, use multiply layer. Whenever you're adding light, use screen layer. It's the safest bet. Core shadow. So for example, my face. Just in the shadow, there's an area that that is the darkest part of the shadow and it's called the core shadow. And you can do that, add it with cell shading. Just this simple thing. Just this line at the exactly where the shadow and light meets, make it a bit dark and more saturated. And it will look 
make your shadows look extra fancy. This is without and this is with core shadow. Exactly where the shadow and light meets. I would personally blend this out. You guys see the difference. And I can also use this layer to add more variation in the shadows. For example, where the fabric's gather gathering, I can make it darker. And I can just add some random shadows following the flow of the fabric and then blend it add more interest dimension in the fabric darken this a little bit so I will utilize this layer to do so. This stream is too helpful, I might need to watch the the VOD. Yeah, I hope I hope you guys can keep coming back to it. I was here every day just lurking. Oh, I see, I see. Happy to have you lurking or not. Yay! Great, you can see the difference. It's reassuring. Okay. I'm just adding some blood flow to her fingers. Maybe a little more blush. And let me... Crap. <laughs> Let me write down the steps. You guys don't need this, right? Black colors. shadow done with airbrush third step sharp or oh, I should say hard hard edges hard And then it's the 
fancy stuff. Would be... Core Shadow. Shadow and ambient light. Let's do, let's say bounce light, I think. That sounds more intuitive. What is your favorite Japanese okashi? Okashi wa snack desu ka? <laughs> Prepare to watch the vod with notepad. Just let me know if you have any questions. And for cell shading, a lot of times they will color the line art too. And at my school, they called it color holding. So when you do an alt layer on your line art, you can color it, you can make it very cursed. And to pick the color for the line, Usually, I will pick the color of the darkest shade or a darker area of the shape or object and then make it just a touch darker as well. And then use that. For the line art. Sample this yarn ball. I'm just gonna pick this color and then move the cursor down from the original color that gives you the the line the line art color you can use several shades for one object doesn't have to be strict I feel like this would make pretty good homework. Try cell shading. I know Folly already knows how to do it. But for those who don't... I feel like this step is always very transformative. Because it blends the shape into the lines and it's... Makes, makes it look one step closer to 
a painting. I think that'd be a lovely homework. the face we we'll choose a reddish line usually you can even add bounce light to the face color I was using for bounce light and then this one makes sense too because the light is hitting the apron and then bouncing back onto the face this from my sequential art professor and because for sequential art they have to make artwork very quickly this is pretty much mostly the method the most used method in most commonly used method in sequential art Anything I'm forgetting. So, let's, let me have a look at the one I made before. Yes, um, final highlight spots. I would add another layer to do very bright highlight spots. You can use screen. And the cool yellow from before. Like 
this. Now everything looks shiny. And I placed the highlight spot here because of the plane of the nose. It's anime nose. It's like this shape. And the light is hitting this plane. That's, that's why the highlight spot is shaped kind of like a triangle, vaguely like a triangle. And just that alone will read as a nose. Oh, hi Melo! Welcome in. Already forgot the process, great. <laughs> I have some old cell shaded stuff that's too cringe to post, but I'd partake. What coloring method do you use now? Anyone can color. With this method. to my actual notes. Nope. Too, too detailed. Pretty much, pretty much done. <laughs> See, that was too fast. Now, now, this method is so fast, I'm like, what do I do now? <laughs> I'm already done. And you, I know for some styles, for some game art, they they use cell shading, but they push it to an extreme level, and it basically looks like a painting at that point. Now you have a waifu, that's the time. Cell and soft combo. I use cell for the main and then airbrush lighter tones on the inside of the cell to add depth. Oh, is that called soft? Wasn't meaning that cell was cringe, just that my old Sonic OC stuff was. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I want to see it. I think we all want to see your Sonic OC, Fali. You can't mention it and not show us. 
true, sometimes it feels hard to stop rendering because I want to do more. And then I paint too much. Yeah, that's the thing with painterly style. It can go on forever. With cell shading, there's, there's a pretty hard stop. Like, you go through all the steps and you know when to stop. And it goes through all the steps and then you know, oh, it's probably finished by now. I must so die. She'll die, Sonic OC. Painterly style is fun though. It truly is. Oh, I forgot the hand. So if I use the hard shadows and then I blend it, then is it now effectively a soft? Cell style because I do that <laughs> quite a bit. Oh no! This was so fast. Now I don't. I, now I don't want. Don't know what to do. <laughs> if that doesn't sell you. On this coloring method, I don't know what will. And... On the edge of the shadow... You could go a little darker. Sometimes I see that and it looks nice. Like outline the shadow. Maybe I can draw another thing for myself to color. Remove my film. Vibration is... Probably not pleasant. I like to blend it. It makes it not so... Apparently not cell shading, but... 
It is an option. Jun Jun, could doodle something quick for another nice example. Let's try it. Any requests? Cell shaded more. this up Traditional cell tends to keep the hot edges. I'd say yours is a mix. Oh, I see. I didn't know that. Soft cell. This looks so clean. Yes, with cell shading, you do get a clean look because everything's separated and organized. I feel like we're all waiting for Tabby to say something for us to react. What do you want me to say? Duck. Uh, uh. Fast is dying. Li, 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 libe, libe, libe's fuck. <laughs> Kunst und Musik. Kunst und Musik. Butler made duo. Wow. If I draw a butler, that'll take too long. Saitama, that's a good one, actually. Cell shaded Saitama. My favorite is actually Mobu. Saitama from memory. He has a round head. Something like this. It's, it's looking like hype song. Or maybe his eyebrows are higher up. What kind of nose does he have? He's killing me. I must know. The phrase. Okay, so he's more uniform egg. It does not get more. It does not get narrow uh, at the top.
can read it extra extra round <laughs> The cell shade this bad boy. We all remember what to do. Step one, black color. General light. With a light yellow shade. Screen layer mode and somewhere in the 30% opacity. Let's do it. Opposite side. A made tappy. Light coming from here. General light. General shadow. Layer mode multiply and then 34%. With the reddish color. Dark reddish color. Because the skin tone. Black shadow. Multiply 30 something percent again. light. I feel like this is easier to see. Easy easier to understand, hopefully. Do something like this. Or this. This makes more sense. Ah, the light. And then, core shadow. Same layer mode as. The simple shadow layer, sharp shadow layer, 
right in here. This is not a car shadow, but it is a detail you can add right here. It is darker too. Very fancy. And then highlight. You can color anything. Have you watched or read One Punch Man? I watched it until they switched studios and then it became not so watchable. Mole and Maid outfit. <laughs> Cell shaded Mole Maid. Maybe, yeah. That might be cute. That shape seems very... Everything is a Persona reference. Cell shading or... Cell shading gives you Persona vibes. <laughs> yeah. Since it's the most commonly used method in anime, Yes. I can see why. Let's, let's do a... Uh, and color the line art real quick. have a hard time selecting stuff <laughs> after all this time not again mm. I have bonked Depression is a Persona reference. <laughs> Amazing. Type in chat so push the nasty stuff away. It's the same thing over and over again, isn't it? Not not the most creative. Creativity. Made more. Guys, Hajime no Ippo. I 
I just finished watching... Kobayashi? Kobayashi much? Maybe you wanna do a more simple head dress. We should also remove the chats. It removes the message for me, but you know. Removes the message, but the username. I also reported them just now. It does, doesn't it? Watch Tabby draw Saitama moles and gain some good drawing insights. I hope so. Oh yes, I need to do corrections, guys. What should um made mole be surfing? Need more. That yeah, looks like a fast food outfit. <laughs> Need small pleating, maybe. I think that Folly was talking about the stream chats.
Is that a Saitama wobble head? It's a stationary head. <laughs> On my stream, I want screen, it removes everything at least. So, at least, so the leftover corrections from last time. Yeah, I will do it. Soon. A croissant. How do you guys say croissant? Are you guys gonna make make fun of me? <laughs> croissant. Croissant. Parfaits are so nice. Maybe pudding. Oh my god, so much food. Ooh, pudding. I don't think we've I've drawn a pudding yet. I like pudding. Buririn from Dragon Ball is famous for being bald in Japan. Kuririn. <laughs> Kuririn. 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 They look same. I think I have decided on pudding. Giga pudding. Pudding pudding. <laughs> I'm trying to make it bounce. Do you yoing? Tell us pudding. If I do that, be with a cream, some cream and strawberry on top. I like pudding because the colors are cute. this <laughs> I took a screenshot of this because it was this was very relatable I'm calm guys okay <laughs> from Ipoh. Highly recommend it. Never have I been so emotional over a spot before. I don't watch spot because um, there's no added story. need a story to, to care. So if the narrator can... When they talk about real football matches, if they if they tell me about the player's backstory, maybe, maybe I'll care more. 
why do they play in this particular style? Is it because... Is it because they, they need to compensate for their weakness? Is it, there's a weakness thing they can't get over? Or is it because their father played in the style? I need to know, otherwise it's hard to, hard to care. Maybe I'll just stick to spot sports anime. My favorite. Maybe later you could add a timer for the chat setting. Oh, slow mode. Yeah, I should do that. Good idea. Great idea. Thank you, Kumi. Kwaso. Kwasong. 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 I say Kwasong. Like how Hype Song says it, but with an N. Kwasong. Maybe how Kumi says it. Exactly, I wanted to mention that. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. I will keep... I have seen the option before, so... I just need to remember to do it next stream. DB and OPM? What's that? Japanese captain. Too late! You know, I don't think I have time to cell shade this. I want to do corrections for Kili since Kili is here today with us. Is the Kili in the room with us right now? Let me bring up the hand file from yesterday. Pudding from Tabby's kitchen looks yummy. Of course it is. It's made of worms. <laughs> oh yeah, I was I visited Issa's stream earlier today. Very nice people. They she was talking about wanting to do more art streams. And then she showed my dabbing doodle. She liked it. Of 
correction time. I want to add a thing to my overlay, um, overlay when it's correction time. Some people stumble upon my stream and then they get confused. You know, I'll keep keep myself on the side, just so they know it is the it is the same stream. Five and six. Oh, number five and two. Can't read. <laughs> this one. think about the shape of the head in this angle. I see this is slanting down, but for this angle, she should be, they should be looking up. phone for a second. It's already looking Let me match it so we can compare. Already looking more like number five. All good, all good. Have you watched Chihaya Huru? I have watched a few episodes, but I didn't get too into it. You guys like it? I know someone who really loves it. Pudding looks delicious. Fighting for sacred maid outfit. I don't think the moles could handle the pudding without taking a bite. Yes, the maid would probably sneak a bite. And I feel like her face might be jutting out a bit far. Before I looked like she had a like a lot too much space here. Move this eye up. Mm -hmm. 
little bit. And then pay attention to the angle of the eyelid. This angle would come back down. Like this. And hold the nose and shadow. I think the shape <clears throat> can be adjusted. Placement is pretty good. Maybe... And then this. I suggest using more flesh tone shadow for skin tone. Let's try it on all of the shadow. What if I use... more like skin, right? Down here I would just block it with hair. Use a lighter, maybe a softer shadow. So, shape is like this, maybe more triangular shape. Makes sense for the nose. So, it's like the nose is like this, and then it's casting a Triangular shadow. I would round this round this out. Because it's if it's turning so sharply from this angle, when the head is in this angle, it means the chin's probably like super sharp. like this. I think I... did I? Oh, I see. <laughs> Looking more like five. Number two. Is the wide head a style or is it is it um, because of the angle? Oh yeah, Achilles in chat, I can... Keep an eye out. 
Am I here? Such is the question. <laughs> Physically, but not mentally here. <laughs> Put it in would be a fun one for karaoke. It's not super fast. I shall do it. I want to do karaoke soon. Cool song. Cool song. That's a new. That's a new one. Kwasen. Kwasen. <laughs> Kwasen. Kwason. The second one. Hota. Japanese famous sea lion manga is by Shonen Ashibe. What's a sea lion manga? I checked a lot of her, sh her shorts today. Did you see the one? The, the peeing one? I think the, the chin and tight chin can be moved slightly to this. Like this. body sorry if I misgender your characters I simply do not know body the neck Should be around here You want to watch out for this kind of clothing. If a Japanese person looks at this, they're gonna think this is a person that is not alive. Usually the collar is arranged like this, like a Y. And this is what you see on kimonos, etc. But when a person passes away, they will flip the... They will put the clothing on like this. But maybe, maybe your character is meant to be not alive. I don't know that. But if they are supposed to be alive, then you would want to switch the color this way. I'm not sure how the, how the hair is. But I would probably decrease the volume. You want to think of the head as a ball shape. Hair Dorito. What is Plangus talking about? Oh no, you have sticky pants, Plangus. Karaoke incoming. <laughs> Lee Liebes Fach. Lee Liebes. Liebes Fach incoming. Number two was a lot harder for me, so probably a lot more to review. I think you were pretty close. Whitehead is kind of style, but. I'm not constant with stuff, so I don't know. <laughs> if you have a style, you, you have to be consistent. 
cute pinky blush. You want me to add blush, Hota? <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Flesh tone for skin shadows is something. Yeah, I usually end up using a blue purple for every shadow. Yeah, try a warm shadow for skin next time. So you use this called light mode? I do not. <laughs> yeah, I know it's on the wrong side. Oh, I see, I see. You kept it because lost stuff. Oh, I see. That's cool. Then it's totally fine. But it, it was a, a made for an interesting topic for everyone else. Number two. Number two is pretty exaggerated, so we have to you 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 have to pay attention to the distance between the nose and mouth. In a different style, it can vary. But the nose should be closer to the mouth in this angle. Something like this. Be closer to number two. And to keep the the wide head characteristic. And the the way the hair falls should follow the perspective too. That helps describe the sheep. Maybe you can add a parting just to just for more interest on the top of the head. Up to you. Check how the work hair works. sure about this detail so I won't mess with it I wouldn't actually draw the strands like this but just checking the flow of the hair like this you can add shading according to this flow This piece right here doesn't really work with the flow. So maybe something like this will look more natural. I think the eyelids look good. Yeah, good stuff.
Next of all, thank you for your submission. Good work, good work. Potter! Hold on. Which number is this? Number one and five. <laughs> Saber questioning all her life decisions. Trying to draw more consistently this year. That's awesome, otherwise I've historically been inconsistent. It's okay, I'm the same. But the more you draw, the closest to the closer to consistency you'll get. Such that I've also not been consistent in styling. Just keep drawing. and five very pretty style huh guys yeah I think it's slightly facing the more to the camera versus the the original but I think it works think you could move the mouth up but it works as is but we can try some new stuff just mess around with it see if we can get a different result How's that compare? I think it's a nice drawing. I don't really have much to do to it. A saber, maybe the shape of the head right here. It's a bit unsure. Looking a little uncertain. Also a nice drawing. In terms of the arrangement of the features is good yeah the nose is close to the mouth I would maybe think about the hands
I think it would be uncomfortable for her to rotate her hand downwards as far as this. And maybe... Maybe her boing. Because the arms are coming towards you, I would... Just give the boy more room to breathe. change the shape of the boing to really make it feel like sitting on that table, right? So it would be like like a sack like a sack of, I don't know, milk in some countries <laughs> of milk on the table and uh, become this kind of shape This has nothing to do with face angles. <laughs> Boing angles. The hand. Something like this would be more comfortable for her. Count the fingers. One, two, three, four. Okay, and the thumbs behind. Yeah. Describe the shape, the wrist. Like this. Maybe she looks a little com more comfortable like this. give her even more room but for now I would do this I would I would 
probably put her arm all the way over here. Hello, Aaron. Welcome in. Popo. Welcome, Popo. Good morning from Southeast Asia. Is it? Love your art. Thank you so much, Golf. Glad to have you. My drawing is complete, not that I like it. What are we talking about? Oh, hello, Fali. Welcome back. Hiromi Matsuo is an illustrator who depicts beautiful Japanese kimono women. Hiromi Matsuo. Hiromi Matsuo. Oh, pretty. Very, very pretty. Nice. I'll show you guys. Which one? Hiromi Matsuo, everyone. Kimono, beautiful kimono woman. And... And, um... Salaryman? <laughs> Ikemen Salaryman? I need to stop being lazy with hair for sure. One step at a time, Kili. No rush. I'm glad they were helpful. Poor Saber. <laughs> Welcome back from Lurk, Hefei. Your drawing is complete, not that I like it. Oh, I see. I have context now. Can't wait till you show it. Hotter art lovely. Yeah, very pretty. Hotter stuff always good. Yeah. It's really good. Always think about the boing boings as water balloons. Yeah, that's a good one. Next. Thank you, Hotta, for your submission. Very nice work. Shampoo! There's shampoo here right now. I think this is the final one. Number two and three. Two. Let me drink some water first. jumps out to me is my hat. I think a lot of you are probably confused by my hat and <laughs> because I don't have a, a 180 view of myself a reference sheet so it's been tough for you guys. But my hat is actually I'll show you guys. Let me see if I can find... A hat that is close to mine. In terms of style. 
This one's so funny. Free cat beanie, everyone. This is a free cat beanie <laughs> listing. Cat Something like this. I'm gonna find the nice nice picture like a product shot like this actually something like this but more pushed back those crusty listing pictures. I actually like that. So go for shampoo's drawing. Be like this. More like this. the lines in like this just so you guys can see general form I also like this because I'm looking like Anya <laughs> I like Anya This is closer. Like a pillowcase, yes, exactly. Hello, Birch, Birch, Birch Jones. Didn't know you were live right now, just happened to check out Discord and noticed. Awesome! Maybe... maybe I should do Discord automations. For when I go live. Originally I was like... I don't want to ping people because I am botchy. <laughs> I don't think people... I don't think people want to be pinged. For my streams. Now for the facial features. I would move this everything 
to the right a little bit. Like this. And I know the half flow looks like it's gathering at this point, but we want to change that. The top of the head should be right here. Around here. If you look at this picture. Top of the head is here. Rather than over here. You guys also want corrections on your whips before you finish the drawing. Get some pointers to set you in the right direction before you finish it. You can also put those in whole academy. Then you don't have to spend time. following the homework topic if you don't have time but this is nice for focused discussion too but if you just have if you're just working on your own illustration and you want me to take a look and also leave that in mole academy Probably because the nose is not coming towards the camera, it's turning away, it would probably be a touch smaller. You know, this is part of shampoo style because my nose looks a little larger than usual too on this side, so I think it's style intentional <clears throat> and my scarf can be confusing too i imagine but it's it's a scarf folded in half Then you take and then you make a loop with one end with this end and then you put this end into the hole <laughs> and then it becomes not like this I want to do ending emote today so you guys can suggest which emote I should make this is about how it would look and my shoulder would be in front of my hair pieces so Fix the overlap there. Like this. Before, after.
Number three. E. Number three. Number two. This is not number two and number three. I'm gonna assume this is number five. Maybe I made a typo. Hat looks flat across. No distinctive ears. Yes, exactly. The ear... The ears... The ears are... Purely created... When... You put it on your head. So originally it's just a rectangle. I think I explained this to Ander Kenneth before too. Then like a pocket. And then when you put it on your head it becomes like this. So it's not gonna ever look like this. No flat part here. It's gonna look like this. G and correct. One day I will have a reference sheet for you guys. You guys know for the homework, for the homeworks you don't have to color and render, right? <laughs> Seems like a lot of effort. If it makes good practice, then keep doing it. I think the placement looks really good. I would just use shading and not use the line as well. And this part is gonna be in shadow. Because it's gonna follow this contour rather than straight across like this. I'm gonna do this. Shade that in. I like that you showed the piece. I think it looks pretty good. I would move my eyebrow up a little bit. So I have quite a lot of space between my eye and eyebrow. And I don't have very deep set eyes. Shadow's not super necessary. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. There's also, there's a, I do have a braid. It will look like this. I 
fix the angle of the scarf move it down a bit right now it looks like it's flying off to the side a bit too far Like this. Oh, for this, the nose. I would change the perspective a bit. Maybe rotate it a bit. So the nose is facing this direction. This looks pretty good. Okay. My cat had me watching the stream 15 minutes delayed. It happens to the best of us. Kageshini, I like the way you drew the bluish on her shampoo. The blush. Oh, the blush on her shampoo. On her. Oh, I see, I see. Yes, nice. It's definitely a challenge drawing hat from dynamic angles without reference, right? Because <laughs> I don't have reference for you guys. I hope none of my chats seem too off. If they were, I apologize. I think it seemed fine. Almost missed the start with hype. We are in the server because of you. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's set up automated um thingies. People will only get annoyed if it is happening all the time. What about three days a week? Is that too often? I reckon a lot of people would like to, but you can also have a pingable notification role set up. Yeah, I would like for people to opt in. Thank you for the corrections, by the way. I would have responded if my cat didn't take over my desk. <laughs> Sag. Yeah, welcome. Very nice art. We all agree. Most people from the Tabby Tavern would like to know when Tabby is like, ooh, shock and horror. Tabby hat tutorial. Bonk. Okay, we're doing bonk. Samuneiru no shoujo no e wa insatsu shite. Something something shitai. Arigatou gozaimasu. メイドみんなに教え、教え。みんなに伝えた。伝え、伝えました。もう終わりました。今、検索を知っています。検索も終わりました。みんな。みんな what is good job in Japanese? みんな、お疲れ様でした。
たくさんたくさんの素晴らしいなの絵をもらいましたよかったよかった次は、イモートタイム。イモートを作ります。エンディング、エンディングのために。I like how Japanese has so much English. イモート、エンディング、イモート。タイムの時間。時間です。ちょっと、a moment。えっと、えっと。イモートファイルどこ。うーん。うん、that's weird。YouTube。where my emo go。It's been a long time. Tabby. Instagram, not Instagram. Ending doodle. Emotes found it. Mitsu, Mitsu, Mitsukari Master. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or not in this context. Hello, Mariam. Welcome in. Usually, I do pickaxe. Jots down profusely. Hope it was helpful. Her Japanese is pretty good, much better than mine to say the least. <laughs> If you can't tell how much I suck, then maybe. <laughs> As an artist is blessed with the sense of beauty, I have been blessed with the ego. In <laughs> Nihongo. <laughs> 日本語の練習をしたいです。から、ぜひ日本語でコメントしてください。もしよければ、一緒に練習しましょう。You know, the, the first step to learning is realizing how much you suck. Bonk, bonk emote. We use pickaxes here to bonk. I also need delicious mogu mogu. And also sparkle eyes. Maybe like this. This one's quite complicated. I would like for the axe to be pretty big. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Let's, let's get an angry face in first. It's like Tetris. 
Making emotes is like an intense game of Tetris. Got an IKEA this shit. Real estate is quite limited. Love your accent. Where are you from? You can speak ego. Ah! Crap, crap, crap. Guys, hold on. Guys, I have to... I have to... I have to stop now. <laughs> I can't finish. Bonk. Bonk emote. I have to end stream now. This this is quite tricky to do anyway. Need time. So. Thank you for watching guys. I will complete the emotes later tonight. And then you guys can test it out. Where am I from? I am I am from Hong Kong. Hong Kong Jin Desu. Kantong go go. And because of unforeseeable circumstances, I must end stream now. What happened to Paul? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Next time, next time you can give me some more Japanese tongue twisters. Matana. Thank you for watching, everyone. Eat well, sleep well. It was a long one. We had a pretty long, long stream. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to smash that. Motherfucking like and subscribe button to help the mole cult <laughs> grow exponentially. Bye, Hota. Bye, Hype. Bye, Pauls. Bye, Skittles. Bye, Kumi. Bye, Kageshini. Bye, Chuna. Bye bye, Homa Derek. Bye bye, Yukurito no something. <laughs> Tabby out.